Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome back. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of December 2020. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, the link is down below in the description box. And uh, remember, this is a general reading, so please keep an open mind. Remember, not all of the messages that I channel from my guardian angels and guides will be for every single person watching. All right, let's see what's going on in love and relationships for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp for December, please, spirit. Thank you. December 2020. Your overall energy, you've got the spider. Be meticulous and patient and good with your resources. Someone has been very meticulous and patient. It's a process, that's for sure. bottom of the deck you've got the six of wands fire energy aries leo sagittarius four of pentacles earth energy taurus virgo capricorn justice libra energy seven of pentacles earth energy taurus virgo capricorn on the bottom ten of wands fire energy aries leo sagittarius Okay, somebody's coming back from a battle victoriously. They're getting some sort of recognition. They're being seen. They're being rewarded for some, some efforts that they've put in before. Um, they're getting a lot of attention. There's been a burdensome cycle that you're releasing. Someone um, has been very patient. They have um, understand. They understand that they can't carry a relationship themselves. It can't be all one-sided. Someone's also releasing some baggage. Um, the hard part is over and you're going to be able to put up your feet and relax. You're going to complete this mission successfully. Someone's been holding back, holding on to something here. Someone might be emotionally stingy, but somebody's learning to balance here. Um, it's been a matter of divine timing. Spirit has asked you to Maybe look at something and assess a situation here. Um, you've been more than patient. Um, things might not have turned out the way you expected, but I um, feel you're just letting go of some type of heavy, heavy cycle is coming to an end here. And karmic justice is being served here. Balance is being brought in and a decision is going to go your way. And of course, Nikita wanted to come in and... Uh, Say hello to us all here. She's sitting on your card, so to me that's a blessing. <laughs> She's looking her chops. She just had, had dinner. She's happy. You're welcome, Nikita. Glad you liked your dinner. All right, you need to get off of Mama's cards now. <laughs> but somebody's getting some sort of reward recognition. You've been more than patient. Balance is being restored in your life here and in this connection. Um... Could be dealing with a Libra who's getting some type of karma here. Um, somebody's dropping some baggage. There's been a heavy load here. The hard part's over. The hard work's been done. And it's going to be smooth sailing ahead, I feel. Okay. Um, spiders are extremely resourceful. Everything they need is located in the spinnerets in their butt. They have shelter, food, uh, their reproductive system here. Somebody's been hanging out. Somebody might be on the World Wide Web, on the internet, hanging around, watching you. They've been meticulous and patient, waiting for the right time to make their move. There's a decision that's going to go your way. 
Someone's been holding back here, holding on. They could be holding on to you energetically. Someone might be stingy with their love, with their resources. Somebody is uh, wanting stability here. All right, let's clarify these minor arcana, and then we're going to take the rest of your reading over to Vimeo for an extended. We'll clarify the major arcana, bring in some advice from spirit and your love messages. Again, I am available for private readings. Please go to my website. You can see all of my services listed there and my calendar. All right. Why is the Six of Wands here? Getting some attention, some reward, recognition. Getting the justice that you deserve. Getting reward for all of your hard work. It's the end of this heaviness. Six of Cups, it might have to do with someone from your past here. Someone from your past might be paying attention. Okay, be rewarded for past efforts, but it's also somebody um, where there's mutual feelings of love and affection. Um, you've been patient with the situation. Somebody might want to come in and reconcile, offer a cup of love. It could be someone from your past, a past life soulmate even. It's water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is this four of pentacles here for Capricorn? Children could be involved too. Um, Queen of Diamonds, Queen of Pentacles. She is very stable. She's got one last stuff to give. She is wife, mother. She's very good with her resources. Um, very loving and nurturing, emotionally stable. She's holding back. She's not investing or giving anything to anyone that doesn't see her worth. If somebody doesn't see her worth, she is not going to offer very much. She's very careful where she invests, but someone sees her as wife and mother and she knows her own worth. Somebody has some financial stability here, which is so Capricorn. You're strong in your reading. You're right where you're supposed to be at this point in your journey. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Divine timing, assessment, harvest season, taking action now. King of Clubs, that's King of uh, Wands energy. He's a uh, Minor Arcana version of the Emperor. Queen of Pentacles, by the way, is the Minor Arcana version of the Empress. He is very good looking. He is going to take action. He's been sitting back, waiting, assessing a situation. He's about to make his move now. And this could be someone from your past. They may have fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But he is, is an entrepreneur, a business owner, CEO. Very good looking. He might have a bit of a temper on him. He's learning how to count to 10 before he acts irrationally or unloads on somebody here because he, he's, he's hot tempered. He's also hot blooded. It's been a while. Spirit put this connection on hold for a reason, but he's about to take action here and go after what he wants. He's going to get up off of his dead ass. And try again. Why is this um, Ten of Wands here? Five of Wands. So you go from the five to the ten. Change. There was drama, conflict, jealousy, gossip, interference. Could be inner conflict as well. And somebody's releasing it. It's just gotten to be too much. Too much. Somebody was treated unfairly here. Treated unfairly. And it could have been somebody's own baggage getting in the way, creating conflict. But things always work out in the end. All right, we're going to take the rest of the story over to Vimeo, and I'm going to do a deeper dive with the major cards that are left here on the table. We're going to get some advice from Spirit and your love messages. I'll post the link down below for your convenience, and I'll see you there, Capricorn. Bye.